Hey everybody, Jason here again with GDT Basics. And today on the video question line, our topic is radial true position and composite control. Uh, today's question is, can I control the pattern of holes on the side of a cylinder with composite position, even though the axis of the holes aren't parallel to each other? So let's take a look at this simple example here that I drew up uh, to discuss this question. So the question is, can we control a pattern of four holes these four holes, you can see from this image, they're coming in from the side of the cylinder. So the large cylinder, the outside diameter being datum feature A. These holes, uh, all four of them as a pattern, come in from the side of the cylinder. And as you can see here, they all kind of converge on the axis of that cylinder. So uh, normally when we see position, we see it on a pattern of four holes on something like a square plate. And the axis of these four holes are all parallel to each other. Uh, we can easily control these four holes as a pattern using composite position tolerances and the pattern location in general back to a datum reference frame using the upper frame in that composite. Uh, but the same sort of scenario can happen on a cylinder. Uh, so we can see in this example here the four holes obviously on the outside of the cylinder, they are being controlled with composite position. Now the upper frame is simply interpreted as a normal position frame, right? So the true position defined by basic dimensions of all four of these holes back to the datum reference, right? So the datum A being the cylinder here creates uh, datum axis A, right? So datum feature A gives us datum axis A. Uh, and then datum feature B down here is this bottom surface gives us a datum plane as our secondary datum being referenced in our feature control frame. So we can see here on this image here, we have datum axis A and datum plane B. Now all four of these holes can utilize uh, the datum reference frame AB to fully constrain themselves, right? We have a full uh, perpendicularity to datum axis A, right? And we're coincident, right? The axis of this hole has to hit the axis of datum A, right? So we've controlled that polar location, right? the rotation about that axis, as well as the location um, with respect to each other. And we've controlled the location back to B as well, since we listed B as a secondary datum. So we've controlled the six degrees of freedom of all four of these holes as much as necessary, right? They aren't clocked in rotation as a pattern around this axis because there's nothing else to clock it with respect to. Those four holes could be over here in this fashion and we would know no different. So we didn't clock that sixth degree of freedom, that rotation, but uh, they are held in rotation to each other since they are a pattern of four holes, right? So this 30 degree basic dimension is gonna make sure that those holes have a radial position with respect to each other. So again, that upper frame here, we're showing the tolerance zone here and here and then here and here for all four holes, right? Uh, and those tolerance zones are locked in locations centered at true position. So true position, again, being defined by these gray area, these gray lines um, using basic dimensions. Now, where it gets tricky to interpret is when we introduce the lower feature control frame here. Uh, again, in the composite feature control frames, as we teach in our advanced course, the lower frame in a composite feature control frame only controls orientations regardless of what that datum reference could do. Right? So if the datum reference could do location, it no longer can. It'll only do orientation. Uh, and then we follow the same amount of rules. So we see here we have a 1,000 diametric tolerance in our lower feature control frame with respect to datum A. Datum A being this axis means that we are only controlled in orientation to datum axis A and no longer any sort of location, in this case, radial location, right? So what we have is we have to make sure these axes are perpendicular, right? These axes are perpendicular to datum axis A, but no longer located to datum plane B or coincident to datum axis A either, because that would imply a locational value, right? So if we picture these tolerance zones popping in here, we'll see on the right that this tolerance zone can move up and down, right? We're not locating these tolerance zones for the lower feature control frame, the purple tolerance zones, with respect to anything, only orientation. And that orientation is perpendicular to the datum axis A. And we no longer have B referenced, so they get to move up and down, right? So perpendicular to A is the only requirement here. 
uh, they're also not coincident anymore to data may. So what happens is these tolerance zones can move, right? They don't have to converge or be radially located to that axis. Uh, this tolerance zone, as you can see here, uh, the only requirement is, since they are a pattern, is that they stay 30 degrees, uh, using those basic dimensions, from each other. So you're still controlling that pattern. And again, over here, you can see the pattern being located to themselves, but not located to any other datums, right? Uh, same thing here, they're radially located using that 30 degrees from each other or polar polar coordinates use the radial distance between them to locate uh, themselves to each other. So again, the angle between these two had to be 30 degrees uh, based off this bottom one, but we can move that in any sort of locating manner, right? Uh, just orientation is being controlled here. So you can see kind of the freedom that happens here. So again, as long as the axis of these holes, right, this is our whole feature. If the axis of that hole lands inside the purple and the blue simultaneously, we have a passing part. So that axis could be up here and up here. Uh, again, locating that these holes be close to each other in location, but where that pattern happens can be a little bit looser, right? That's what we're saying here is, where this pattern of four holes exists on this part doesn't matter to me as much as, as I want to make sure the pattern feature to feature, the hole to hole location is held rather tight. Hopefully this helps clarify some things when you're using radial holes uh, and using composite position. Thanks again and be sure to check out our website for additional free resources and other training options. Our goal is to be your best source for GDNT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDNT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDNT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes download helpful charts, and access articles written by training experts.